Hello and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 3 video and uh, this might be a long one but this is for you guys because um, I was going to say it but I'm, I decided not to say it. The reason why I have this cheat, I'm not actually starting off with it but because I can't get the ghost missing so because I because I wanted to do the import export garage in order to get all of them so I'm pretending that's the ghost missing right there as a blue predator without the guns so first vehicle we did is the ghost missing i did i, I progressed all, all the way to gone fishing i told uh my people that watch my videos that uh um that i would progress until gone fishing to get the ghost missing to get like every vehicle and uh and so the, it, I, it worked i got the ghost missing and then i realized oh fuck i i didn't uh I need to do the import export garages too in order to um, get all the vehicles because you know some vehicles are rare spawn vehicles so yeah and for Vice City the way I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna put vehicles in my garage be and then uh, you see uh, this is see that was the ghost missing it's basically a blue version of this boat uh, it, except it's not a police boat and it doesn't have a, a can boat cannons so yeah, and you're probably wondering, we'll just do the import export garage. Well, I, I didn't think I would need to do it, but uh, I did anyway because like I was thinking of my, my game, which already had the 100% progress, in, including the import export garage. But when I found out that I need to do that, including the one on Shoreside Vale, because there's one rare spawn on Shoreside Vale, I was like, oh shit. And then uh, port for Portland, I'm like, oh no, and I have to get vehicles such as the Trash Master and the Flappin, the Security Car. The Security Car is not a problem because you can actually get that in a later mission, which I didn't do yet, um, which is decoy. Um, but the Mr. Whoopee, that's impossible to get if you if you don't take advantage of I Scream, You Scream. But that was the Ghost Missing as the first vehicle. Sorry about all my talking, which interrupted. But the second vehicle we're getting is the Predator, which is kind of the first one for this video, because uh, I, I brought a blue cheat on purpose, so you could, like, kind of see a blue version of it, I guess, but, yeah, I have all the vehicles planned out, and they're kind of, they're kind of far away from each other, that way I don't want to, I want to spend some time in each vehicle, so this is, this vehicle, uh, the video is, is getting inside every, except for the ghost missing, um, which is capital, ghost, and then, and then regular missing, but th this is the second vehicle we're going to get into, which is the Mafia Sentinel, located in an, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna tell you their location, so the, the, so the ghost missing is, a uh, is just, uh, in the mission gone fishing, um, the, uh, let's see, the, the Predator is located in Newport or Francis International Airport and the Mafia Sentinel located in St. Mark's or Portland Beach. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of going to be serious with this video, but yeah, this is my 100% game and, uh, yeah, so because we have to get a 5-star wanted level for this, um, um, yeah, because... We have to get a five star one level for it. I'm obviously not going to do that because I already showed how to do that in the mission of dropping the ocean. So I'm just going to do it this way. So this vehicle has no spawning location. You can only get it with a five star wanted level. When you have five star wanted levels and FBI cars are chasing you, they will show up in like really, really dark black. But uh, if uh, but if you get one from a roadblock or resplay a really black one to this color or just get it from the emergency vehicle crane it'll be a, a lighter black and it feels weird to call the color black light because it's not light at all but the, it's lighter than that than the ones that chase you this is the one again roadblock um respraying and uh what else yeah from the crane so this is the fbi car which is the first uh, police vehicle we're getting and no so yeah i'm not gonna I'm only showing, um, I'm not gonna do every import-export garage just showing the vehicles, but, like, I'm gonna do, like, every, uh, you know, uh, like, every, every vehicle that doesn't spawn in the location, but you can get from a, uh, from the, from an uh, import, uh, export thing. So the next one I'm getting, oddly enough, is a Mr. Wong's, which I, which I'm, what I, I have all this planned out, so... Mr. Wong's, it's a purple one located here. I don't know if they have a vehicle like this in Liberty City, I don't. In Liberty City schools, I mean. Because right there, <laughs> it's flying pedestrians. I don't know, uh, 
can get them. Like, you know, yeah, that's the that's side of the vehicle. Yeah, that's the side of the vehicle. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't so, yeah, this will, anything. This vehicle will, will spawn in Chinatown. That's the only place it spawns. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with but now, I never need to sleep. it's basically a triad. It's a mule. It's a mule that handles better. And there's kind of like a delivery vehicle. Well, this isn't really a delivery vehicle. It's more of a company. I don't, I don't know. But there's a vehicle like that in Vice City, which is a mule. But next one is a Light Runner, which you can get uh, in Portland Harbor, like I did, or on the Cal Greasy Joe's in Callahan Port. You can also, oddly enough, there's like always Line Runners that are driven around in uh, on Callahan Bridge, in the area of Callahan Bridge. Which is strange, so yep, secure car is what I'm getting next. And I'm gonna show you a, a cool thing you can actually do with a secure car. So, yeah. Too much blood in the city streets, and too many babies are crying in Liberty City. Um, I already, I already delivered uh, enough secure cars here, so it'll say it's useless to us, but you can deliver a, no a number of secure cars here until they don't want any more, and uh, until your money starts going down and then until it's no money then yeah you can deliver that already but it says that it's worthless to us but now next vehicle I plan to do is the perennial or oh, the secure car you cannot get at any location you can only get it in the mission decoy escort service is th if there's a glitch um, Van Heist, I'm, you can't really get it. Uh, actually, I think you can get it Van Heist. And there's, that, there's uh, invisible secure cars on Ghost Town in Liberty City. So now I'm going to get the two buses in a row, which uh, which is the coach. This is a rare spawning vehicle, which is like an industrial. Um, not really industrial because it spawns in Scotland Island as well, but uh, well, with people. This, this will only spawn in Trenton. And the perennial will only spawn in Portland Harbor, Trenton. Uh, this looks like Portland View was really Trenton. I, I, don't, I don't know where else though. Um, oh, Saint. Yeah, it's Saint Mark's. It, uh, it's another place that spawns. Easy Credit Auto's place. I mean, I don't know any other places on Portland it would spawn, but uh, but where is it? There it is. Bus. Because I said I was gonna get the two buses in a row, and this one, this one is the really hard one to get because this one literally spawns in no, in no missions and no places. So yeah. So yeah, yeah. The printing only spawns on Portland. So now I'm gonna get. So, so this is the bus. So now I'm gonna get the Yankee Rose. <laughs> As you see, Yankee there. So, so this is the Yankee, which only spawns uh, in Portland Harbor. So now, get, get in the Idaho. Oh shit! I. All right, that's the first time this has happened, and that is. Uh, um, that's a, a, having a shit, shit. having a vehicle not spawn in the place it, I need it to spawn. Because like I said, why would I go to Shoreside Vale when I'm here? But uh, because that's where the import export thing is with the Idaho. But that's where that's where I want to go for the Idaho. Really, I do. Well, thanks for the history lesson. All right, let's go over here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah? Is that Maslow? Oh, it's yes, it is. Who's this? My name ain't Gordon. It's real unimportant. I don't know why he says uh, that. No, not really. I mean, this Don't is a radio really. show. People usually tell us their name. My name is real unimportant. And you want to keep being a wise guy? Alright, sorry. I had to end that. But, yeah. Uh, Idaho now. Important. I just got shot Ooh, in yeah. the head. Unimportant. Do I make myself clear? Okay, so this uh, yes. is the Idaho. Why it's uh, much faster than the Yankee, but it's uh, it's a crappy vehicle. Sorry, just don't want to talk because this is funny. Trent. 
treats me like a little boy. Alright, anyways, the Idaho spawns in the Portland View, Trenton, oh no, not Trenton, Portland View, Chinatown, Torrington, and Espatria. Crap. Sorry, my mic fell out, but I was looking for the trash master there, because the trash master doesn't spawn in any location. It's another random spawning vehicle, except for it, you get it in Blowfish. It, this game is different from, well, and Vice City, different from Liberty City Stories, where every vehicle, I, I'm not sure if this is true, but I heard somebody say it, so I believe that every vehicle has a uh, spawn location. It better, I know the trash master has a spawn location, and it's in the junkyard where it should be. Instead, it's replaced by a pony in this game. He has a trash master, and now we're going for the... And trade your SU. Wait, wait, no, no. Um, I'm gonna. It's not there. I, I was about to do it once I saw it, but uh, no, it's not there. I don't, I don't think I saw it there, but for fuck's sake. And I'm in a trash master too. It's like the slowest vehicle in the game. I'm not even kidding when I say that. Slowest vehicle in the game. I think it's better in Vice City where it's like an more of a truck vehicle, it's just a piece of junk in this game. <laughs> you have to do an actual mission with it in Liberty City Stories, which is ugh, but it's not actually that bad in here. And swap your SUV for a noble stallion. So yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing that they say in Vice City when I do the all vehicles a video for that, and I don't know how long that one's gonna be, it's gonna be like almost like 50 minutes to an hour. But yeah, this is the stallion, which uh... Yeah, I talked too long, but the stallion spawns in uh, Trenton, Hepburn Heights, Espatria, Rockford, and uh, Cedar Grove, and Francis International Airport. And the uh, mule spawns only in Portland Harbor and Espatria. And now we're getting the flathead, which uh, is the second to last respawn vehicle. Next one is Mr. Whoopi. Flatbed. Which you can get from the mission The Exchange. And other than that, it's a rare spawning vehicle. I'm only gonna say what missions you can get them from if it's a rare spawn vehicle. So now I'm gonna. Everyone loves Pogo, idiot gamer. So now I'm getting. The best spring and simian game since bouncing bananas. Buy the game Pogo the Monkey today. Right, Pogo? I'll figure it out when I get there. Pogo the Monkey card game. Pogo the Monkey plastic dolls. Pogo the Monkey quilt covers. Pogo the Monkey car covers. The dad who has everything. Why not? Oh yeah, I'm getting the moonbeam because the crew responds on Staten Island, so why not get it there? But the moonbeam is another industrial vehicle of this uh, game. But. Yeah, Moonbeam, which spawns in a uh, Moonbeam spawns Callahan Point, St. Mark's, Harwood, uh, Rockford, and I don't think any spawn on Shoreside Vale. I've never seen a Moonbeam drive on Shoreside Vale before. The only like vehicles I see drive on there are like industrial vehicles and like uh, Cochrane dams, mules, Yankees, ponies, uh, but I do see horse cars like Cheetahs, Infernus, Banshee, Sentinel, which is not really one, Patriot, which is in Cedar Grove, and uh, and the uh, Cheetah, Infernus, Stinger, yeah. I'm just blaming all the vehicles I, I see on Shoreside Vale driving, but I don't really need to. Now we're in the Mr. Whoopi, and I'm not going to do this for police vehicles, but for this one I want to do it. So I'm going to unplug my controller because the, the one I'm using does, hasn't broken L3 button. But the one that does have a working L3 button is even more crappy because the, the left part of the controller is cracked. I didn't show it in my vlog video, but the left part of it is like cracked open and the thing... It, surprisingly, it still works, but... One part of the controller like fell out of, fell out of like some a thing inside ele an electrical thing inside the controller fell out, but the controller still works. Luckily, nothing bad happened. It, it just fell out, like fell apart like that. But uh, 
That's why that ve that's why that controller sucks. And also the it's also it drives slow. But that's the Mr. Whoopie, differently from Vice City, uh, this game. This game the the it keeps going if you get out, but uh it doesn't if in Vice City, but but this is God, my mouse is stuck crashing. But the Mr. Whoopie can only get that in Ice Cream U Scream and uh, in Cedar Grove. If you play the phone version, you can actually get it to spawn in St. Mark's and uh, Portland View. But I don't think that happens on PSC and PS2. But now we're driving a Rumpo, which is uh, spawned in Trenton. But I can't drive now. <laughs> we're driving a Rumpo, which is a. Uh, well, well, next we're going to Staunton Island, so we'll have plenty of time, but. Next is a uh, Rumpo. Um, I don't know, I'll try a fish man, but the Rumpo spawns in Trenton, Harwood, um, Rockford. Oh, I think it's it for I would go under the first to protect myself and try ads, but uh, it's too big, too tall to fit under the, the thing. So I have to take this way. I'm trying to think of all the Rumpo locations, but I... Oh, no, no. There are there are four Rumpos in Francis International Airport. One that spawns in the parking lot, one that spawns like inside the area of the airport, and, and two that will spawn in front of the building at the airport. So now... It's another triad fish fan, which which spawns a uh, which spawns in Chinatown and uh, the the gate in Callahan Point, which can only be opened up with a triad fish fan or a trash master, according to the mission Glowfish. But the reason we're on Staten Island now is because uh, um, we're going uh, so I'm going to get a blista. Um, there I know there's one that spawns in here, but it's not there. Fuck's sake. God. I wanted to get one in here, but it's easier to go to where Tony's hideout needs to be, except it's one hideout ahead. Which is here. So now, you're probably wondering what I'm doing on Staten Island already well, because I have more people, so I can get a in well. I can sail a boat back to um, back to Portland Beach and um, get a get a vehicle that I need. But the Blista will spawn in Newport. A lot of them will spawn in Newport. Blistas. Uh, Blista also spawns in Espatria. Also spawns in Torrington. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the bleach down shows that fail. It's, yeah. Now I'm getting into the slow reefer. God dang it. <laughs> and guess what? I have to sail this all the way to... All the way to Portland Beach. This is going to be fun, but I get to think about at least the locations now. Which, uh, I said Newport. I said Torrington. Francis International Airport. I think that's it. So now the reefer, it will only spawn in Newport. You can also get one from SAM and uh, last request, but the last request one is useless. God, this thing is slow. Slowest boat. The trash master's got to be faster than this. <laughs> If they, if they had an all cars on water cheat and I could like test out the trash master um, comparing the reefer the trash master would be uh, faster or actually they have a they have a cheat in Liberty City Stories so I guess I could try that if if they if the reefer in that game is as fast as uh, this one I only got into a speeder in that game uh, I only got into a speeder as a boat in that game it's the only boat I got into in that game. There's something I noticed about the water in uh, uh, in GTA 3, GTA Vice City, GTA Liberty City Stories, and GTA Vice City Stories. Um, the water in GTA 3 looks like 
like the water in Liberty City will looks blue is just plain blue, but the water in Vice City is like um, sky light blue. So the water in this game looks like Vice City's waters as as light blue, but the water like because Vice City's water is see through, but Liberty City's water is not. Like the but the water in Vice City, which has water a lot of water particles in it. Looks like the water in Liberty City stories, like, as, like, except that's not see-through, but, it, it's hard to explain, but it's, like, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of cool if you think about it, because, like, each city has, like, is, has, like, their, their different look of each kind of water, the, the water which has, like, no particle lines, or, like, the particle lines one are, uh, Liberty City Stories and Vice City, but the non-particle ones, the clear ones, are GTA 3 and Vice City Stories. I kind of know... I, it's kind of interesting to think about, actually. But after that slow trip, which took two minutes, we, we are getting the Bobcat now. We still got a few more vehicles on Portland left to get. So this is the Bobcat, which spawns in Portland Beach. Portland Beach, uh, St. Mark's. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, uh, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormitron now at 1-800 Sleep Off Lard. There's actually two in St. Mark's. And sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes oh, wait, to work on the highway. No, I, I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It so, just makes oh, me wait. feel better. So, Shoreside Vale, yes, that's, that's another that's location that the Bobcat David. spawns in. It's odd, but Shoreside Vale because, uh... Because the because the location is in Shoreside Vale, it's in the park. So another location is uh, Espatria, Rockford for the Bobcat, and um, I don't know. Yeah, other others. <laughs> but now come in here, and we're gonna save twice to get the BF injection. We're saving it in my game. Save again. <laughs> Just all this progress of me driving around is saved in my game. I'm trying to think where else you can get a bobcat, but I think that's it. But now we're going to get the BF injection, which is in Hepburn Heights. And it's not there as always. I knew it wouldn't be there, because because when I done this before, while well, trying to progress through the Shoreside Vale and Port Export Garage, this has happened before. Okay, What's up with Diablo, fucker? <laughs> and uh, I still don't. Okay, now we got a BF injection. So here it is. It's it only it spawns in Hepburn Heights after the mission Sayonara Salvatore between between 18 and uh, 24 hours, which is zero, whatever you want to call it. But now the but now I plan to get the vehicle, the pony, which is not there. I don't think so I didn't see one there so I'm kind of afraid to check so I'm just gonna drive here and see if this helps or I think it will cuz I think I'm too close the junk this is the junkyard in Liberty City which the junkyard in Vice City is much bigger god no pony I don't want to go like far into the Trenton southern area because there's three ponies in that area but I don't really don't want to go there there's a pony I, I won't say all the pony locations yet. Well, I'll say it after I get inside of inside it. Like my 
I said I'm just gonna get the Borg 9 which is a vehicle that uh, so uh, so the Borg 9 is well the Borg 9 spawns in hardwood and uh, yeah the Borg 9 spawns in hardwood after you after you drive a hundred fares in the taxi mission which is uh, mission complete and now we got a pony um, oh, <laughs> the vehicle's being crushed. I didn't mean for it to be crushed. <laughs> so, yeah, as you see, there it is. <laughs> but, anyways. Um, so the pony locations are in Harwood, Chinatown, Portland. Yes, Portland, because, uh, it's between Portland View and Portland Beach. And when, when you're between a district, it'll just say whatever island you're on. Portland, Stone Island, or Shrosai Vale. So, yeah, Portland... Chinatown, Portland, Chinatown, Trenton, and Harwood are the four, four pony locations. And speaking of Chinatown, we're about to go to another uh, vehicle location, which we're getting next. So I know this is going to be a 30 minute video, past 30 minute video, probably going to be 40 or something. But this is the Esperanto. Which spawns? Oh shit! Fuck! Fuck! Why? I hate when this happens. Die! 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 And get out of my fucking face! You die too. Drive by! Drive by! Drive by! All right. <laughs> Anyways, fuck triads. Um, we can escape from them now. So the Esperanto will spawn in Chinatown. Uh, Chinatown, St. Mark's, if the Bobcat in the, um, gas station isn't there, the Esperanto is, so, I like this Esperanto color, they added a new color in Liberty City stores, which is just plain blue, so, now, I'm trying to think of other Esperanto locations, Francis International Airport, There we go, now we got a Diablo Stallion, that's what I was getting next, is the Diablo Stallion. But other Esperanto locations I can't think of them. Oh, Rockford, that's another one. And the Diablo Stallion, you can get one in Pump Action Pimp, but the, but it doesn't spawn. You have to wait for a Diablo to show up inside of one in uh, Hepburn Heights. So yes. Going down here to get a cabbie, which the only place the cabbie spawns is Portland View, the one we're getting. So this is the cabbie, as you see, Portland View only spawns there. I know I should say what place they spawn in specifically besides just the district, but it's easier to say the district, so I guess I'll I guess I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. Portland View at Mean Street Taxis. It's actually kind of more fun to say it that way, but uh, I don't know because I didn't do it in the past and the past in this video. I don't, I don't know why I should just start doing it in the middle of this video, but yeah, I don't know. So now we're getting a unique vehicle. Which, uh, is, uh, not this one, yet. So, um, so the RC Bandit, it will, you can, you can drive one in, uh, Wichita Gardens, Hepburn Heights. Um, I press the triangle and circle and you fail. So the Wich So, which which uh, Gardens, Hepburn Heights, St. Marks, and Torrington are a place you can drive a uh, um, you can drive a RC Bandit. You can also drive one in Toy Toyminator. It's, you don't actually see it named an RC Bandit, but that's what it is. So, yeah. So now we are going to Staunton to get another vehicle, which is the Panlantic. 
So here we go. And change that because I because I don't know why it's hard for me to notice that song's on. I, I know I know it's doubtful, but I don't I know it's doubtful for you guys to think that I, I it's hard for me to notice that song, but hey, some people have weird things going on for them, and I don't notice the Omeo song playing, which is probably the most noticeable song on on Double Clef FM. But now we're get. But now we're just listening to some non-copyright Keja, which is easier to call it that. And we're getting into. So this is based off of a pony, which is called the Toys, with a with a Z in all capital letters. And again, the you can get one in Toy Minator, but that's not important. What you where you can get one is a. Uh, oh, of course! I thought the taxi was gonna be it, but of course it's the Karuma because. Uh, because, as you know, as you crash in straight into vehicles, they will be annoying and just roll onto the side and get in your way. And it's really annoying. But anyways, just like the RC Bandit, the same place you can get a, uh, a toys van is uh, Wichita Gardens, Hepburn Heights, St. Mark's, and Torrington. I don't know why I did it in the same order, but it's easier. So now we're coming in here to get the barracks ol which you can get during a six star wanted level or you can get one that spawns in rockford so now i'm seeing ponies all over the place but you know what that means we're getting another we're getting into another type of pony so that was the blue pony, the light blue pony, I guess. I crushed the guy into the gate. And he made oh eh, no. Oh that that there it go. So we're getting into a black pony which is called the Pantlantic. Which is a vehicle that you can get in uh which is a vehicle you can get I, I'm sorry, I don't know why I say sent, start sentences and then say them twice again. I don't know why I do that, but um, you can get one in Grand Theft Auto, the machine, or you can get one in. Uh, you can get one. See, there I go again. But you can get one in Fort Staunton. So that's what I meant to say. Why I do this. Sometimes I get scared before an important event such as childbirth or a family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's what I so now I'm going Equinox. down here, and, uh, and this is going to be Tommy, interesting I when I do this. Down. I couldn't focus on anything at work. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in but a row. What I'm doing I is getting into the last boat. And, uh, oh no, sorry, sorry, I'm actually getting into the Banshee. I, I, plan I was going to get into the boat, but, uh, I, 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 I looked at, I, I thought that's what I was going down here for, because I, I remember my route on how to do this, because I actually practiced this one before, and I, and I thought I would, because I, I got, I got used to just going down there, and uh, I thought I was gonna, I thought I was getting the speeder, because I, I knew what, because I, I'm kind of getting ahead, I was getting ahead of myself there, I thought I was gonna get the speeder, but now I'm getting the Banshee, the Banshee next, which, uh, which spawns in St. Mark's, Newport, Torrington, and, uh, and Cedar Grove. And the next vehicle I'm trying to get is, uh, is not here. It's fucking great. Great, great. Okay. So, I guess we have to... So what I'm, what I'm trying to get next is the Manana, and I didn't spawn the man Manana, which I like. I like to say Manana. Not there again. There should be a Manana, there should be a Manana that spawns like right there. Wasting time, it really is. Oh. What the fuck? Come on, man. I 
hate this despawning bullshit. Saturday Night Night Beavers. Those little fellas, they never take a break. All right, they something that put me in the mood, and we're back to pissed off mood because should spawn right there. No, no. The next one is the manana. I want to get the manana next. Uh, pretty soon, I'm just gonna have to say fuck it and just do the Karuma there, because the Karuma is next on my list after the manana. It's like they set the hell up and for me to turn around, which is good actually. There we go, now the Manana spawns. Okay, so. Probably wondering I could just get a crew here, but no. Where I have another location in mind where I can get a, a Karuma. So the, so the Manana spawns in Torrington and in Francis International Airport. The next one I'm getting, which is the Kruma, has a shitload of uh, locations that spawns in. I love, I love looking at the Manana on the sides because it's, cause it, cause it looks like such a little car. Here's the Kuruma, which spawns in Bedford Point, um, Callahan Point, Portland Harbor, St. Mark's, Harwood, uh, I think that's it for Portland. Yeah, okay, so now, um, Torrington, uh, Rockford. So we'll move on to Shoreside Vale, which are our gardens. Great. So, that, and that's it for the Karuma. All right, freaking yardies. So now we're coming down here to get the speeder. Oh wait, it's yeah, it's at this dock. I thought uh, I thought the speeder was at the other dock, but I I keep having to remember that it's at the first dock. That's why I went over there, cause I I was like, wait, am I getting the speeder or the banshee? So yeah, sorry about that fuck up there of me thinking I was gonna get the speeder, but really I'm getting really I got the banshee. But that this is the speeder which spawns in uh, Newport and Francis International Airport and this is the last boat we have to get you're probably wondering where I'm driving this hat well the next vehicle I'm getting is actually the ambulance yeah so I'm gonna like ground right here as usual uh, uh, crap this isn't, didn't, this didn't go exactly as Plan. I'm not getting into the taxi because we didn't uh, see that one yet. Gonna... Okay, so I'm gonna just get, the, get the Karuma because we we've gotten into it already. And uh, hey, it's the same color, so that kind of um, brings it back. But I'm gonna destroy it once I get to the the ambulance because we already gotten into the Karuma we needed to. So to get into a second one, and it's just yeah. You know. But the cheetah, we're still going to do the cheetah in this one, even though that's the one I started off with. It, it doesn't count because uh, that, because I was using that ad to, to show off the ghost mission, what it really looks like. So there we go. Destroy that thing. And now here is the ambulance, ambulance which shows up um, when uh, shows up when you kill somebody, not with uh, not blowing off limbs or or burning them. It looks just regularly kill them and an ambulance will show up show up which this spawns in a Portland View Hospital the Rockford Hospital and the Pike Creek Hospital Yeah, 
that's what I was looking for, because I was like looking, I was all quiet looking all over Newport to find one, but uh, but yeah, this is a Yardi Esperanto. No, it's a Yardi Lobo, which uh, just like Hepburn Heights, this this does not spawn in a location in the city, so you have to find a Yardi driving it in Newport. And I don't feel like switching the controller, but it has a special pumping feature where you beep and uh, it uh, it goes like up. Okay, so the Sentinel was next on my list, but there's no Sentinel there, but uh, I'm going to get the Sentinel now because, uh, yeah. So now this is the Sentinel right here. Um, so the Sentinel spawns in St. Mark's, Torrington, um, Torrington France International Airport. That's it for the Sentinel. Uh, the Sentinel's in this uh, uh, burgundy color, which I hate, but whatever. If you want to know like all the locations for cars, I'm still gonna say all of them. But if you do want to know all the locations for the cars. Look at my import export garage video and you'll see that uh, I have all of them in there. Oh man, I'm already at 41 minutes. Jeez. So, I'm, and I still got more vehicles to go, so I'm gonna have to like be quick. Shit, man. <laughs> Shit. So we're going in here again. That was nice. It's because now we're gonna get a super vehicle, which is the Rhino. And this only spawns during six star wanted level or it only spawns in the army base after after you complete the story mission including the exchange that's kind of the one that activates it I don't know if you don't complete Kenji's missions and uh, I'm not sure if you decide not to do Kenji's missions and you complete the final mission I'm not sure if this thing doesn't spawn but I don't know I'm using this thing to move fast to the next vehicle I have to get to, which is we were just there for the signal. We're actually gonna get two vehicles there because it's it's confi it's convenient enough. it's convenient enough. So the next vehicle we're getting into, we're not gonna drive for very long because it activates an area which has another vehicle which is the only place. Oh whoa, that's pretty epic. <laughs> except it would have been better if it did it nailed, except it just does spin in the air like that. Ah crap, this goes. Because we already finished the game, I can use juice. So now we're coming back here to the now the sentinel spawns. What the fuck? And this and it was in the wrong position. But this is the police car, which is called a police. And this one spawns in a Torrington Police Station, Portland View Police Station, Pike Creek Police Station, and um, and Francis International Airport. And this is the enforcer, which uh, gives you armor. The, oh, I forgot to say the ambulance gives you 20 health, and the police car gives you. Um, five bullets of a shotgun and I'm not going out that way I'm going out this way but this is the enforcer which can you can get oh yeah the police car you can get during two star and three star and four star one levels but and sometimes one star but uh, the enforcer you can get in Torrington I'm not sure if that area is actually Newport but the um, yeah, same with the cop car but uh, but the this you can get in Torrington I'm just gonna say and four star wants the levels so now guess what? This is what I have to drive to Shoreside Vale. It's going up as great. So stop it. No, 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 no. Why would you do that? Why would you chase a enforcer police truck? <laughs> yeah. But no cars to knock out down this time, so we can just go right across. Completely quiet. And now I'm going to 
Rose. Pike Creek. Yeah, I'm costing shit. So now this is a vehicle which I could can get on Staunton Island, but it locks, so so this one never locks, so it's more safer to get it on Shoreside Vale and not waste time. Although I kinda wasted time coming here, but no. It didn't spawn there, so fuck it. Oh there it is. It spawns. It spawns. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get this one if this one if the one in that driveway doesn't spawn, but if it does spawn then we're getting the one that spawns in the driveway of the first Cedar Grove house, so keep it. Okay, it's there. Good. The stinger. The stinger you can get in Bedford Point and Cedar Grove. And this is another one of the sports cars in this game. Damn. I'm gonna reach 15 minutes. It's gonna be great. So I got decided to get the one on short side bail because uh, because it's safer. So now I'll just jump down here because it's faster. You can get the cartel cruiser here. So now this is the cartel cruiser, and I have to drive this a long way, which is going to be great. So the Cartel Cruiser, I forgot to say, you can get in Fort Staunton, Cedar Grove, and Wichita Gardens. You're probably wondering why I don't get vehicles as I pass them. As, like, Hood's Rumpo itself, for example, I just could. Uh, oh, no, fuck, fuck. Okay, good. I didn't flip. Like, that one, like, you're probably wondering why I'm not grabbing it now because I have a specific route to do this. Um, so yeah. You know, kind of mess it up if I just go off track. And the same goes for the freaking assholes that are chasing me, even though it's their fault. Same goes for the vehicles that I the parked vehicles that are passed, but I again I have a specific route to deal with them. So now here I go, going over here to get the vehicle that spawns everywhere in Liberty City. But I'm still gonna get the park location. I could not get the park location in Portland because it's dangerous in that area, St. Mark, so that's why we didn't go there at all. Fuck, Fuck these police guys, these cars, these guys got but we got, but we got a taxi which spawns everyone on the streets. I have to mention that three were spawned in Francis International Airport, St. Mark's, and yeah. So yeah. Taxi. Kind of weird that I'm getting a taxi now. Not really that weird, but you're probably wondering what vehicle I'm getting next. Well, da 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 da. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Yep. The dodo. So I'm gonna fly this to a car on Staunton Island. And that's gonna be the Yakuza Stinger. So here we go. <laughs> it's gonna be nice. So the Dono, you can get one in Grand Theft Arrow and another, uh, another spawning location for the Dodo is triggered after the... Uh, after Grand Theft Arrow, but yeah, there's Francis International Airport, the only place you can get a dodo. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it to the Yakuza Stinger in Torrington.
which is at the casino. 50 minutes, but I don't have that many vehicles left. God, I can't believe this is my longest video ever. So this is the Dodo flight in action. I have to calm down. Uh, I have to fly down a bit, so I can fly down through this Yakuza Stinger right here. Fly down to it. Whoa! Whoa! No! Why does this have to happen? Try not to act so pissed off, but I land the Yakuza Stinger and instead just fish tails. Oh god. So pissed that it happened. I have to get my armor back at least. And because we already got into the taxi, we're to do it. But, uh, If you notice a little cut when I died, I'm um, I'm sorry, but uh, I I pressed the space bar by accident. But there's a but there's Yakuza Stinger. I was planning on getting the one in Torrington, but there's Yakuza Stingers that spawn here, which is fine. So, okay, but we're gonna destroy this taxi because we don't need to have a second one in this video. So the Yakuza Stinger. So it this spawns in um, uh, Torrington and Fort Staunton and Newport. Here's the Yakuza Stinger. Messed up, but uh, it still worked. I don't know how the Dota did that. I was trying to land, and then it all of a sudden just went to the right. I probably should have just kept uh, focusing on trying to get it right, like, right to the parking lot. Either way, I'm going to be on Staunton Island. Either way. Oh, God, it's going up. So we have lots of these cars to knock down. We're gonna hear a lot of blow and explosions like that one. <laughs> Still wish that I could have landed the dodo at the casino. That way, I would have done what I planned to do and what I've. Uh, and know that it, it'd be cool to do that, but no, of course not. But that's the last vehicle on Staunton Island we have to get. Uh, again, random vehicle physics. Jeez, it just drives on the other side of the bridge. That's, anyways, like I was saying, last vehicle on Staunton Island we have to get. And now the vehicle that I plan to get is the fire truck, which, uh, yeah, I'm getting the one that's on Shoreside Vale. This one sprays water. I thought it, I thought I might as well show that because I'm in a fire truck. That tapping, holding the circle button sprays water. Yeah, of course a fire truck is red. Why would it be blue? So now I'm driving the fire truck to the import export garage in Shoreside Vale because uh, we have a um, we have a stretch limo to get. God, I can't control it, but I'm look at this knocking down these land stalkers with the fire truck. I don't know if that's a thing. So it's over. It's one. Yeah, it's a stinger. I mean, no, it's a stretch. Stretch arm storm. Yeah, you hear a drop. What, like, for certain vehicles? Oh, how? Okay. But, uh, this is the stretch, which, uh, doesn't spawn for a Oh, yeah, the fire truck, I forgot to say. The fire truck spawns, uh, spawns in when fires are occurred with the flamethrower and Molotovs, but the fire truck will also spawn in, um, the f yeah, the fire truck also spawns in Belleville Park, Harwood, and uh, Francis International Airport. And now this is the Landstalker, which spawns in, uh, Belleville Park as an off-road mission, and, uh, yeah, spawns in Belleville Park and spawns in, uh, 
Cedar Grove and uh, and Francis International Airport. And another thing that I forgot to say is uh, the stallion, uh, the Esperanto spawns in the Newport Car Park. The stallion spawns in the Newport Car Park. Um, the Rumpo spawns in the Newport Car Park. And the police that well, I already said the police that was in Newport, so that that counts as that. What's happening? God, shit, please tell me I can get out of here! Fuck! Oh, fuck! No, my armor! No, my health is going down! Can I... Okay, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry for the stupid epic fails um, that this video has. Dodo landing in the water, and uh, car flattened me, but yeah, so I'm sorry about that, but uh, you can never tell when those things are coming and you can't start over an almost hour video because it's too much so I have to stick with this one. See I'm sorry about the fails and because we got another taxi this is gonna be fucking destroyed. See and that let's not fuck up this time. Horror horror yeah I'm still doing this. I use this as a. It's not there. I use this as a quick way to get to the parking lot, but it's not there. So now I have to go all around for it to spawn. And yeah, we got an Infernus right here. And luckily it's unlocked. And yeah, that's the only Infernus that spawns in the city, and it's unlockable one, so we gotta be. Careful with that, I guess. There's also one with an alarm. I think again, most parking vehicles have alarms. And to a quick, this is a quick way to get to Wichita Gardens to get the, my next vehicle that I have to get. And that's uh. That's that. Uh, good thing. So now we gotta look for a Hoods Bumpo XL. See, so yeah, the Infernus only spawns fence at our national airport. And there's a vehicle we need. Um, third to last, which is the uh, Hoods Rumble XL, which only spawns just like the Arties in the, um, the just like the Arties in the um, Diablos. Um, this will this will only spawn um, you, when you see Southside Hood, Hoods driving it in Wichita Gardens. now we're coming in here, coming into the last two vehicles, which are located all in this area, Cedar Grove, except the, this Patriot is the one we're getting next. And yeah, no, there's no spawn Patriot in the city that doesn't trigger a mission except for the car park ones, but yeah, I gotta can I'm gonna cancel this mission now, just drive away and then cancel it. But yeah, this is the Patriot we're getting, which only spawns in the, that location of Shoreside Vale, which was the same as the Bobcats of Shoreside Vale, and, uh, and Portland View, which is what it spawns. Portland View is another spawned uh, Patriot mission, or triggered. So that's why I didn't get that one instead. I decided to do that one. And I'm going up the hill because it's, it's faster to go come up this hill and get the last vehicle we need, which is in fact the vehicle we started off with in this video, which didn't count because we have to go to the parking locations, and here's the last vehicle of this video. It's the Cheetah, which spawns in Cedar Grove. So that's it. That's every single vehicle in Grand Theft Auto 3. I'm going to do a same video like this in in Grand Theft Auto Vice City, that last one's going to be longer, it's probably going to go over an hour, because look at this, 59 minutes, holy shit, that's insane. So, uh, I'm going to close the right door to make to make the end shot look perfect, and, uh, head video and shit, and, yeah, there you go, so, see you guys, this is going to be an hour, shit. Trying to be quick, that way I don't go over an hour, but I forgot one vehicle, it's, a, it's the train, uh, spawns in Liberty City Stubway, and, uh, um, Portland's L train. So that's all I had to share with you guys. The forgotten vehicle. Bye.